Uh, I feel like the only other thing to talk about really here is Sky Striker. Remind me really quick, chat. How many Kagaris do we have? Is it three? Three. Okay. Now, <laughs> Sky Striker, huh? I saw something this morning that I thought was funny. Look, I looked at, I was like, we could maybe look at some of these crazy developments on, on the Yu-Gi-Oh! market. Like, look at this. Where's the other one? Where's, uh, oh yeah, Linkage. <laughs> oh my god, dude. People are coping on Sky Striker. Literally, this is like the top 10 best sellers. It has one, two, three, four, five Sky Striker cards in the top 10. And literally, multi roll is there twice. <laughs> multi roll is there from Magnificent Mavens. And multi roll is here from Dark Saviors. <laughs> multi roll just made it into the top 10 twice of the best sellers on card market. I think there's like, I've never seen this before where like the same card was on there twice. I really don't know how I feel about that. I don't think that pure Sky Striker, in all seriousness, uh, I don't think is that great. I'm not sure if it can keep up. I've said this before, I think Sky Striker in itself literally could have everything unlimited. Uh, which... How... Is, is Widow Anchor still at... Is Widow Anchor at 2 or is, was that Master Duel? 3. 3, yeah. Hornet is at 1. I'll say one thing, I'll tell you one thing, you might not like to hear it, but Hornet Drones is not a Sky Striker card. <laughs> Hornet Drones does not count as a Sky Striker card, chat. Hornet Drones has been at its best in any other deck, but not Sky Striker, dude. That card is not a Striker card. Hornadrones is literally your worst starter card in Sky Striker. You rather have Ray, you rather have Rose, you probably even rather have Linkage. Hornadrones is not very good for Sky Striker. It doesn't matter. Sky Striker, I honestly, I think Sky Striker might not even play the one Hornadrones. Like, maybe you do. Maybe you play the one as a search option, but for the most part, you might not actually play it. You might not actually play Hornet Drones. It doesn't use normal summon, Rose does. And so what? You, re you realize that when you have a normal summon, you can special summon Rose, right? And if you don't have a normal summon, it doesn't matter that it takes up your normal summon. You realize that what you just said makes no sense, right? Like if I have a normal summon, that's Ray, I can just special Rose if I want to. And uh, if I don't have a normal summon, I can just normal summon Rose and it doesn't matter. So like, I don't know what you, I don't know what you're saying. One thing we could genuinely do is try to build some of those decks and see how they would look for this new format. Like for example, I know, I know probably the first thing that anyone did, but we can try and build some Sky Striker and because I don't even know how that deck would freaking look right now. I don't even know how you would play that deck. And then I, because I, I, I don't know. Because like, what do we do? So we have two of this now. We have two multi-rolls. Uh, we have three, but we don't play three ever. What the hell is this? Engage got an alternate art? I've never seen that before. Do we already have that? Coming soon? Okay. Uh, we definitely play some amount of linkage. We play some amount of rows. I don't know how many. We might play these guys. We probably play like a shark cannon. I don't know if we play the field. Like, I don't know about any of this. What the hell are we doing with Sky Striker? We don't have Mystic Mine. Talents and Thrust, I guess. Runic Striker. Runic Striker. I don't really... I don't understand what we're trying to do. <laughs> like, really, I don't get it. <laughs> what are we trying to do? How are we winning the game in 2023? What are we doing? I'm not sure if we have a win condition. Linkage? I mean, okay. Hamp? I mean, actually, Hamp... Where's Hamp? Hamp could actually be okay if, if people are playing a Rise Heart and shit. Just hand trap spam? I don't know. Uh, look, the thing is, I'm looking at this and I'm just not scared of it. 
You know what I mean? I'm looking at this and I'm not scared of it. What hand traps are even good in this environment? Therion? Eh, we could play... We could play like a field spell package with the, the Area Zero and the Therion. Don't hate that. The thing is, the one thing I don't want to do... Because I really don't see how it's going to work. I don't think Sky Striker should be a go second deck. I really don't think Sky Striker should be a blind second deck anymore. Because I think... Like, when I'm trying... When I'm thinking of a going second deck, I want the deck to be good at going second. But Sky Striker cards are not good at going second. The only cards in going second Sky Striker that are good for going second are your board breakers, your non-engine. Actual Sky Striker cards are not good for going second. We want Shizuku Pass. Well, see, the thing is, that's what I'm not sure about is whether that works or not. I don't think it does, but... <laughs> this deck is from 2019. <laughs> You forgot Kaina? Oh, yeah. What else can the deck do going first? You know, the thing is, the deck also doesn't do anything going second, though. Right? The deck also doesn't do anything going second, because you break the board and then what? You break the board and then what? You can never... You can never consistently kill them going second. That's never gonna be a thing. You're always going to break their board and then you're going to try and set up your own board. But that's like, if your board going first is not enough, then your board that you make through their board when you go second is also not going to be enough. Like, no way. Is there can be only one even good? I'm not sure. Forgot Hornet Drones? Dude, I don't even know if you want to play Hornet Drones. That card kind of sucks. But maybe you still play it. Is there another hand trap we can play? That's looking to be good? I'm not sure. I mean, you could play Valor. I don't know. Just, I don't... I don't think this is it, J chat. Chat, this does nothing. No. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, dude. The sad thing is, and this is really why I don't think Sky Striker is viable. All of those hands, and that is what you need to understand, all of these hands would have been absolutely fine in 2019. Besides the fact that some of these cards weren't out yet. But like, if you draw a card, if you draw a hand like Terraforming Engage Rose in 2019 or something, your hand, you're, you're, you are happy, you're popping, right? But it's just not... Yu-Gi-Oh! has changed. Yu-Gi-Oh! has changed. Like, if I go first in 2019 and I do this... Right? If I do this in 2019... Right? I'm chilling. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Life is good if I do this. Right? Life is okay. But not in, in 2023. You are dead. <laughs> you don't you don't uh, you don't get another turn. <laughs> you, you don't you don't you're not gonna stop me with an imperm and a and a shark cannon. You're not doing that. That's not that's not happening. Uh and that's why I've been saying that's why I've been saying they could give us three engages, and I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think it makes a difference. 
Um, maybe genuinely, genuinely, maybe the Runic Sky Striker deck could be something. But in that case, I think it's more about the Runics than the Sky Strikers. Because, like, I yeah, the, the Runic and the Sky Striker cards have some anti synergy too, where, like, they both need the extra monster zone. But I think, um, I think those could be okay. Like, uh, you can. You get to three spells for engage very easily. You also draw engage very consistently because you. Uh, you you draw cards with runics. Uh, you can use multi roll to free your extra monster zone. For uh for the runic spells, and then you can use linkage to get your your runic fusions out of the extra monster zone, replace them with sky strikers, and it just gives you more removal, right? Like you can like loop afterburners with kagaris, uh, draw extra cards, break apart boards, widow anchors, steal shit. So I think that could be something. It's going to be, it, it would be a very grindy deck. Um, but yeah, it would play much more like chat. You're, you're envisioning it the wrong way, I think. Because you're thinking of a Sky Striker deck that adds runic cards. I'm thinking of it as a runic deck that just plays a couple Sky Striker cards for a grind game. Right? To to force negates, to draw extra cards, to fill the graveyard, like stuff like that. Um you wouldn't you I don't think you would even play Ray in that deck. They didn't play Ray like that in, in Master Duel in Runic Sky Striker. I think the deck played no Ray. It was just engage, linkage, multi-roll, and some Sky Striker spells in Runic. In what world is that better than Sprite? Well, probably not. But I'm saying if you want to make Sky Striker work, I could see it that way. How do you do anything? Like your whole extra deck is full of bullshit. I mean, your win condition is probably deck out at that point. You're probably trying to out, like kill all of your opponent's shit, right? You're trying to, I'm going to use the runic removal spells. I'm using the Sky Striker removal spells. I'm going to run you out of cards. I'm going to keep drawing cards with Fountain, Engage. I will recycle cards with Kagari, Multi-Roll. I will run you out of shit. I will take every single last card you have. I will banish some of your resources. And at some point, you would if you grind your opponent out of cards, uh, if you grind your opponent out of cards, they can also never really top deck out of it because your grind game is insane, right? Like you recycle more interruptions than they draw new cards every turn. So you um, you can basically never lose once you hit to that point, right? It's a, it would be a very, uh, it would be a very, how do you say, in, uh, very non-conventional win condition, I think. Sounds like Sprite Runic to me. Sometimes Sprite Runic did the same thing, right? Sometimes Sprite Runic literally took ages to win because you would focus on taking away their shit. You didn't actually, like, kill them, right? You just, like, negated all their stuff. Every turn you recycled your negates and whatnot, like Elf Revive Red, Elf Revive Carrot, and you can't top deck out of it. So you just outgrind them, right? And opponents just scoop once they know it's over, right? And so that's, I think, what a deck like that would also try to do the only problem is that with runics you don't have a battle phase so you can never a hayate to find engage you'd have to draw engage or you'd have to like uh shizuku search it with it which i don't know i think runic striker is like all right maybe uh antiquus beef and omni pt thank you for the subs especially omni thank you for the 11 months appreciate that but this chat, this is is dead. This is I I think this is dead. I, I, just by looking at this, I nah. It just doesn't work. 